CHPZ. So in edit mode, there are three different things we can select. We can select the vertices of the mesh, we can select the edges of the mesh, and we can select the faces of the mesh. All basic selection is done by pressing the left mouse button. Now, if you want to select more than one face, you can do simple click and drag with the left mouse button. And if you come up to the wireframe viewport and click on the X-ray button to the left, you will not just select the faces on the front, but you will also select the faces on the back of your selected area. I'll uncheck the X-ray toggle and go back to solid mode. And as we said earlier, you can use the left mouse button to select any individual face. If you hold down shift, any other face you select will be added to the selection. And if you keep hold of shift and click on a face that's already been selected, it will deselect that individual face. Another useful selection method is if you select a face, hold control, and click on another face further down on the mesh, it will select all faces in between those two points. If you want to select a loop that goes around the entire mesh, you just hold Alt and press left click. This works vertically and horizontally. And the same as before, if you want to select multiple loops, hold Shift and press Alt. And when you left click on a new loop, you'll add it to selection. And when you left click on a loop that's already been selected, you will deselect it. OK, and the next form of selection is the circular selection tool. You get this to work by pressing the C key. Scroll up and down on the mouse wheel to increase and decrease selection area. Left click to add to selection and click down on the mouse wheel to remove from selection. As you can see, you can't rotate around your mesh in circular selection mode. So to confirm the selection, press the right mouse button. And as you can see, we can rotate again. And if you want to add further to selection, just complete the same process as before and you'll be able to add and remove from selection as you please and then just finish off the selection with the right mouse button again. Okay, we'll finish with this mesh and I'll come over to a UFO shaped mesh I made earlier. Just say you want to make some windows going all the way around this. You can select the loop cut and go up to where it says select up the top and press check it deselect. Now just say you wanted the windows further apart, you can select a face and say select another one four faces down. And if you press control shift plus, it will repeat the selection. If you don't have an unpad, come over to where it says select, choose select more or less and then next active. And it does exactly the same thing as the short keys. I can add the rest of my windows in and choose extrude along the normals and extrude my windows inwards. Another useful selection method is if we select a loop and if you want to select everything within the area of that loop, we can come to select, select loop and select loop in a region. Then we can scale that area up and do whatever we want with it. However, this method really comes into its own when you have a mesh with a lot more faces on it. So I will add a subdivision surface modifier to this mesh, increase the amount of subdivisions and then apply it with this little arrow here. And then I come back into edit mode. Using the edges, I'm going to draw a big H on the side of the spaceship. So I could use the circular selection tool, just draw an H on there and extrude it out, but it's not very accurate. If I want an exact shape, I can draw it on by selecting the edges, holding control and selecting an edge further down. And when you finish selecting the whole area of the shape, you can see you can obviously extrude the faces out and get the shape that way. But I would like to indent the shape. So once again, we come to select, select loop and select loop in a regions. We can then extrude that inwards along the normals and we get our shape indented into the spaceship. And the last thing I want to show you, if we come over and select faces again, have everything deselected, come back to where it says select and choose select random. We could then extrude these faces out along the normals and we have a weird fractural type spaceship. And to make this spaceship even funkier, I could give it something like a metallic surface. If you found this tutorial useful, or even if you didn't, please like and subscribe. And that, my friends, is... CHPZ!